What's going on you guys? Hey, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I wanna talk about the number one tool that you need as a med student to keep on you at all times. And I'm also gonna answer a question about this bag right here because I got a question. What is this bag? What do I keep in it? And do I keep a first aid kit on me all the time? So we're gonna answer those in this video. All right, so first of all, I wanna talk about this bag right here. Um, this bag is called Thule. It's a Swedish company. They actually make ski racks and then they make luggage. So I've got a whole set of luggage. There's a lot of similar messenger bags, but I, that one fits my laptop really easy. And I keep a whole bunch of GoPro sh here because the more videos I make, the more uh, stuff I realize I need to shoot. So I've been uh, doing that. Let me see what else I keep in here. Um, I keep pens, obviously. I keep connectors, uh, I keep, oh, cards, my business cards, that's always good to have. I keep adapters, oh, there's the adapters, like that. Oh, I always keep extra headphones. If you work at any hospital and you're giving presentations, you better know that the Mac does not hook up to the hospitals because the hospitals are like, oh, well, we don't, we don't do the Mac. It's like, it's, it's only the most popular computer that ever was made, you jack -ass. But anyway, so I have to keep like connectors for that stuff, otherwise my presentations look stupid. The last one I did, adapters didn't work and it got all up and it was kind of embarrassing. But then I made a video about it. I actually did the, vi did the entire presentation on a YouTube video and it turned out actually really good. And then I got, oh my God, I just, this, this uh, thing is right now and I got an uh, invitation to give that presentation at a, a regional conference because they saw it on YouTube and they thought it was cool so maybe I'll start doing those anyway so here's the thing that I really want to talk about in this video so the number one thing you need to keep as a medical student at all times is one of these it's a little black notebook okay and this one is I've got a lot a bunch of stuff in there oh no, not a lot anyway one of those and I know what you're saying I, I you're going like Oh, well, I already have a phone and I have a notepad on my phone, but here's the deal. It's very important. First of all, the reason you want to keep this is because as a student, you're going to have stuff every single day that you don't know what it is and you need to go look it up at some point during the day. And sometimes you have time to look it right there because you have your phone and you can do that. And other times you shouldn't do it right there because somebody else is talking and you should be paying attention. This is one of the things that you need to do while you're on rotations in order to get a good letter of recommendation. It's not stare at your phone. If you stare at your phone the whole time, they think you're just, you know, off and playing, you know, texting other people and basically sending notes and stuff like that because most of the attendings and stuff didn't really grow up that way and they don't really think about the phone that way as in taking notes on the phone. So if you look if you're texting and you're you're taking notes and looking down and the guy's talking, he's thinking you're not paying attention. So what you need to do is take out one of these, right? Because this is what the old guys use. And say, okay, I'm gonna write down, right? If you if I if I look you look at me and I'm writing down in one of these notepads you're gonna, and I'm talking, I'm gonna think that you're taking notes on what I'm talking about, and I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm so important because they're taking notes on everything, blah, 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 right? But if you're on your phone, I'm gonna be like, this kid is uh, not paying attention, he sucks, and he's gonna get a sh letter of recommendation, or I'm not gonna give him one, or he's gonna get a bad grade on his or her rotation. So that's very important. You need to not only do the right thing, but you need to be perceived as you're doing the right thing which is taking notes so what you want to do is every day uh, as a student you just put your date at the top and and then you write down what you want to go look up later okay then at the end of the day you go look those up and you will be like a hundred times smarter than everybody else there's a ton of things in medicine that you won't know and even you know like it doesn't matter how long you're there like I learn stuff every day if it's just something like you're like oh I'm not really sure what that is and then you forget about it and you don't write it down and you go home and you just you know like blow it off and the next day it comes up again and then again and again and you never look it up then you'll be like oh man like i don't remember what that is and uh now i'm confused and you know things start stacking on each other so if you don't learn the basics then the advanced stuff you can't understand and all that stuff so you need to get that stuff down i think that's really really important make sure you are perceived being perceived as being studious and not 
uh, aloof, so you need one of these little notepads. And you can also write down all your patients. And for so whatever reason, this little thing is HIPAA compliant. Well, you know, I mean, basically everybody used to use these. And you can take a sticker from each patient you see, okay, and you can just put the put it right there. And you go boom, you put it right there, and then you write the diagnosis or the operation you did or whatever. This is what surgical residents usually we kept. This is what the surgical residents kept their operative log in. And then so because you could put it in your pocket really easy here or in the back, and you could carry it around at all times or your white coat, then could go home and later put it in the actual log, but you wouldn't lose it because one of the most important things are to keep track of what you do. Especially, actually, as a student too, I never really did this, but it's very important to keep track of the patients that you see and the diagnosis you see and the operations you uh, help in or you know observe or whatever. Uh, that's very important stuff because you'll go, you can go back at some point and look and see and be like, oh yeah, I did. Uh, I remember, you know, that incarcerated umbilical hernia. I did see one of those. What was, you know, what was it? And you can always put notes in there and stuff like that. And say like during the op or after the operation, go and say, okay, you know, blah blah, blah they did this and. Uh, small bowel resection or and they use this kind of stapler or whatever, you know stuff like that anyway That's my uh, quick little video on What's in my bag and what a med student should always keep with them at all times to make yourself look like not an asshole All right, you guys. Hey, thanks for watching these videos. You guys are awesome subscribe like share and definitely comment uh, let me know if you guys are doing this already or and or When you're gonna get one. All right, take care